Okay, here we are. We're at the McBee's. Um, there'll be an aid station right here. Um, it's a kind of a foggy day, so I was hoping to get a little bit better footage. But anyways, there'll be an aid station here. Uh, we'll be coming down off. Those are the Jeep trails. I don't know if I can zoom in here, but anyways. Those are the Jeep trails coming down off the back side. I mean, we'll be way over there coming back in and then from Fields Road all the way up this road. You know, right to the parking lot. We'll start heading up that little trail. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is kind of the trail we got going on. Pretty steep little uh, incline already. Like I say, this is the highest, I think this is highest, steepest um, ascent we have. But anyways, the trail right now, kind of this little narrow single track and as we get up further, if I'm not able to show you, um, it kind of gets some kind of shell, rocky kind of stuff. So anyways. Halfway up McBee's. Uh, here's kind of an idea of still some of the trail. It's getting a little rocky now. Up further, it's a little bit more rocky. In fact, they did a bunch of rock piles, I think, from years of having this race. But uh, these kind of two little game trails go all over. Um, so there's no one path. It's easier. Um, anyways, man, it'd be nice if, uh, you know, super foggy day. Um, but that'd be cool if it was a little bit nicer out. Anyways. Sun's finally peeking through. Yeah. Feeling better. Still, and now, now you can kind of see the top. Got a ways to go, man. That just made me a little bit depressed. Anyways, it's cool, it's clearing. Okay, as you can see, almost to the top. Got up above the soup. It's kind of really gorgeous and cool. Um, yeah, then you see training for an ultra. Anyways, it's kind of broken down into this rocky kind of stuff, so. Okay, so I made it to the top of McBee's. Off in the distance, distance, you see Badger Mountain. That's where this whole shindig is gonna start. It's kind of gorgeous up here right now. This is a good view, good payoff. Getting above this soup, it's kind of awesome. Gonna start heading down this way. Um, that off in the distance, I can't really, haven't really figured out how to scan in, but down where you see that ridge down there where those kind of white uh, satellite towers are, that's Chandler's Ridge. That's where we're going to end up. That's the turnaround. So I'm going to get going here and get some mileage in. A um, couple things uh, I forgot to say. Down at the McBee's parking lot aid station is where we can have a drop bag. Um, and we drop off our drop bags at the start at Badger and they transport it out here for McBee's and they will take it back for you. I'm not sure about you guys because you guys are some tough North Idaho mountain boys. 
um, but I brought my trekking poles to try them out. I'm not completely sold on them. They may be pretty good, but you know, I don't know. It's kind of up to you guys, but okay. So here we are. Start running top right now. It's just this kind of gravelly stuff. Uh, this is pretty much what most of it is here. Uh, so it's not too bad. You just gotta kind of watch your step. Uh, this is where I think trail shoes versus like say your Brooks road running shoes. You know, something with a rock in it wouldn't be too bad to just kind of preserve. You know. Still more of this kind of scale stuff. Kind of evens out a little bit down here though. Okay, so I'm probably about halfway. It's Chandler's. Came from up there. Across that little road there. Um, going up this little stretch. Uh, it's got some of this good big kind of basalt rock. So I usually take this path. Um, there's another one over there. I'm not sure if they're going to let us just go whichever, but anyhow, this is the last little, one of the last little inclines before you hit Chandler's. I'm probably, probably about a mile out. Bad Chandler's is right up there. Pretty good view on a good day. Um, yeah, up here you'll be able to see take a rain, definitely right near St. Helens. Um, maybe Adams Hood over there. Anyhow, all right, last little push up to Chandler's. Just kind of this little ruddy little road. I had to slow my pace, walk up this thing. I ate shit back there. <laughs> uh, get too antsy. Um, anyways, all right, here we are. Chandler's right here at the turnaround. Um, I'm gonna hop. This is BLM land. Sorry about the wind, you probably can't hear me too well. The man off in the distance, Badger, Candy, then you got, I think they call that Crow's Peak or something right there in the middle. That's Jacob's Road, the fields, all the way up McBee's. marking it already a little bit. All right.
this is a little trail down off the down off the ridge there's McBee's right over there parking lots pretty much right down there so finish this off call it a day for a couple of hours uh windy it was windy um that coming back down once I finally figured out where that cutoff trail is that pretty it's an okay trail um got some footage of it it's really narrow so it'll wear out the inside of your legs pretty big time but once you get rolling it's it's not bad um overall it ended up being um a little over 11 so i think it was 11 and a quarter miles um like I say, I'm not, I don't know if I'm sold on the trekking poles. Um, race day may be totally different. You know, by here, you know, your legs may be pretty screaming. And I don't know. I, I think the best bet is to come up here and try it a couple times um, and see what you guys think. Uh, 